Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got three more pretty cool AI tools to share with you. So we've got Sourcely, Boba, and Census GPT. Let's start with Sourcely. With Sourcely, we give it a passage of text and it will try and find sources for it. This has been one of the challenges with some of the earlier uh, chat GPT and the large language models is they've been making statements but not giving sources. This is trying to fill in the gap by giving you the sources for a piece of text. The free version is particularly limited, uh, so I'm only going to be able to show you a little bit of what it can do. Uh, but we have here a statement, and I picked this one very purposefully. So intermarriage in New Zealand has increased since 1981. Can you find a source for that? And it's actually given me a whole list here. The very first one here, modeling interethnic partnerships, that's me. Uh, so that's why I picked this particular statement is that I knew one of the main sources you should probably quote is some of my work. And we can see there it is. That one there in particular is my PhD. This is where we do run into one of our challenges with the free version. I want a summary and I click on this and it says, sorry, we want you to upgrade. And the same with visit as well. So we can't see whether this is actually going to take us off to uh, the full the full text, which I mean is available online for my PhD, or if it's going to take us somewhere else. As we scroll down though, and we look at the other articles that it's selected, most of them are pretty good. As we go further down, uh, increases in childlessness, not sure if that's going to quite answer the question, but certainly things like the ethnic questions from Stats New Zealand, Although publication year 1981, maybe not so much. And by the time we get to the end here, this one definitely not particularly useful as at all. So they say here, paste in your essay or paragraph, source will do the rest. Obviously it's uh, 300 characters on the free version, so you're going to have to pay if you really want to do that. I certainly wouldn't be overly trusting of it. It's um, probably prone to the occasional hallucination, just like ChatGPT is. You can put in your title, it'll give you suitable sources. That's interesting. And it can summarize sources as well. So it certainly sounds interesting. I don't feel quite like I want to give them any money just yet. In fact, actually, if we jump over to Pro, let's see how much it is. So $7 a month, $67 for the year. I guess if you just had a couple of busy months, it's not, not a huge amount of money. Um, I think you can probably get this out of other tools, though. If we think about things like some of the ones like Elicit that we've looked at recently, I think they can do something pretty similar. Uh, and you get kind of a reasonable way along just out of the free version before needing to pay. So not sure I'm completely sold. Certainly on this being able to find the source is pretty good, but I think there's other tools out there. And if you check some of my other videos, you will see some of those. Okay, so that's Sourcely. Uh, next one is Boba. Uh, and so this is a research tool. Big difference here, this is much more of a business research tool. Many of the other ones that I've shared with you, they're probably more along the academic lines. Whereas this one is very much business oriented. And so for some people, that's going to be a really nice point of differentiation. As we scroll down here, uh, we can see that we can ask it a question. It will find particular pieces of research. But then it's got these kind of cool other little options around strategy and scenarios. So it tries to think of different business type scenarios within different industries. It can brainstorm strategies. It can even do a bit of storyboarding. So someone that's doing business development type work, I think this could be pretty cool and pretty useful. So we jump over to try out uh, and we can see that I think we should be able to access all of these. Uh, let's give one a go. Okay, so what did I ask? I asked if, how could I leverage statistic skills in the current economic environment? came up with a couple of questions here which are all pretty reasonable kind of commercial oriented stats things and then it came up with these five different concepts 
So we've got data surge, we've got software solutions, statistical models. This is some pretty good stuff. So if you were towing around with ideas, certainly on some uh, kind of business type forums, you'll see people that are saying, oh, I don't, I kind of don't know what to do. I don't know what ideas. I think this could be some really great idea generation. Feels like it's a little bit more specific than say just asking ideas at a chat GPT. ChatGPT can do that, but you need to really give it some pretty specific prompts. Whereas here, it really kind of zeroed in on the business space and some fairly sensible things straight away. Uh, let's take a look at another one. So we jumped over to company research. I asked for a company brief on SaaS, and we can see it's done a pretty good job. If you were perhaps researching an industry or, I mean, I guess if you're a business student having to do something around company research, this is some really great stuff. We've got key competitors, we've got key acquisitions. Uh, we'd need to go and check if that revenue figure is correct. It seems ballpark reasonable, though. This is all pretty useful onto it stuff. Um, so if I was looking at industry, I knew some other competitors I could put in their names. We can see the different analysis types as well. So that was a company brief, but we can do a competitor analysis, domain analysis, industry, full and combined. So if there was a particular industry you might want to look at, you can look at the domain, see what it has to say. So quite a lot here. And yeah, if you are in business, business development, business research type work, thinking about business ideas, I think this is going to be a really powerful one for you. Our last one today, Census GPT. So this uses US census data. Currently it's limited to the United States and it's limited to just a few things. So crime, uh, income, demographics, education, housing. And you can ask it something and it will generate some tables and where it thinks appropriate, some graphs uh, as well. So we could put in our own or we can look at say one of their examples. So five cities in Florida with the highest crime. So you can imagine that would have been the prompt. It gives gives us the the code that it used to pull the table. Here is the table. Here is the graph as well. Uh, so probably a little bit of a simplistic one, but really nice and easy being able to get some visualizations if you're wanting to do some sort of reporting on things. Currently limited only to the USA, uh, but hopefully they roll it out as they get access to more data. Certainly countries that have robust census data, uh, hopefully they will eventually start to add those. Let's try another one. What is median sale price? Number of homes sold in each region for the past year. So you can see it takes, takes a little bit of thinking uh, to get to where it needs to. It tells us the tables that it's queried and it gave us an error. So that, I guess, is a little bit unfortunate in terms of being a good advert for this product where it suggested that we used a uh, particular prompt and then ended up telling us that prompt doesn't work yet. So I guess maybe it's getting a little bit ahead of itself, but we can maybe try a different one. Okay, so tried instead. Most educated city in each state. And we can see here we have it. Actually, oh, yep, yeah, it it's got Hawaii and Alaska we want to head to those and so we've got the table uh, and then we've got the graph we can zoom in we can see the various different spots so nice little tool probably not super number of applications but certainly if you're doing something where maybe there's some kind of census geographic type data that you want to be able to plot and report on uh, it's just a nice way of being able to pull that data from a just a simple statement uh, rather than having to go and dig and filter and do your own work on census data, which tends to be a little bit clunky. So I think this definitely makes things easier for you. So those are the three tools for today. So we had Sourcely, put in a piece of text uh, and it will find sources for the statements. Boba, which is a pretty neat looking business research type tool. And Census GPT that allows us to do currently just for US data, a um, bit of visualization and table building from the US Census. So hopefully this has been interesting and helpful. I'll be back soon with more stats, AI, research and random stuff.